Welcome back to the second video in this series of getting started with Next Minute. And you might recall if you've seen the first, is we focused on some admin settings in the, in the initial video, such as setting up your basics, your business details, inviting your team into Next Minute and setting up their permissions, and also some basic settings for your business, such as markups, job and task types and statuses, that kind of thing. This time around we're going to focus on accounting, so we want to head to the accounting tab of your admin area. Now, a couple of reasons you might want to connect your accounting system to Next Minute. Um, if you create an invoice, draft one up in Next Minute, it'll allow that to be sent to your accounting system. If you create a bill from a supplier or a contractor, it'll also allow that to be sent to your accounting system. Or if you've got uh, a bills in your accounting system, they can be brought back to Next Minute. And finally, um, if you create contacts in Next Minute or you have existing contacts in your accounting, it'll allow you to bring them back from your accounting or send to um, if you need to. So in this uh, example, I'm going to connect my Zero account. So all I need to do there is to click on this. And it's going to ask you in this instance if I want to connect my timesheets for payroll integration. We won't do that for now, so I'll go no. Now, because I'm already logged into my Xero, it's going to ask me if I want to continue with the organization I'm logged into. On your end, when you're connecting it for the first time, if you're not already logged in, um, it's going to ask you to log in first. But I will go continue with one organization there, knowing which account I'm connecting it to. So this is now going to bring me back to next minute to configure some further details. One of those is importing my contacts, which I do want to do. Then obviously you select the relevant um, you know, um, options from the drop-down boxes. I'll just go through this now. And for timesheets for payroll, as mentioned, I'm not going to connect this in this zero um, connection example. So I'll continue on. So just once you've finished up all of these settings here, you just want to go save there. And then it's going to ask for your tax details also. Now down the bottom here, I know what my tax details are. So I'm going to go 15% on my sales default, 15% on my purchases default, and hit save. That's virtually all you need to do to connect your accounting system. From there, it's going to naturally import all of your contacts. As you can see over here, under my contacts, I've got a whole bunch in here now. So that's all for this video. Stay tuned for the next. Cheers.